In the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, so happy to kick off the first live show of 2020. Nick Raybar is here, Avenue N. We've got cauliflower tacos yes. on the menu. These are things that you can make. We we're just talking with Bree. You can have these because they're good for you. They're very good for they're you. They're good for you. And you can see that nothing is cut and uh -huh. nothing is. Oh, happy New Year, first happy of New all. Happy New Year, too. You know, diet is such a big part of New Year's. Sure. You know, it's it's like the number one thing. Uh -huh. It's it's. When you talk about what am I doing for not just a resolution, but just in general, right. it's whether it's exercise, diet has to do with that. Yep. Whether it's eat better, diet has to do with that. Whether it's sleep more, diet has to do with that. Yep. Food is everything in our world, Absolutely. and it's certainly everything in my world. Yep. And, you know, uh, I eat a lot of vegan and vegetarian food. Okay. You know, I tried, uh, I'm not like uh, uh, anti meat, right. but, but I am very pro vegetable. And for a lot of people, they've just cut back a little on maybe it's chicken, fish, uh, you know, red meats or something. That's like that, right. To go to this. And this is such a simple and delicious substitute mm -hmm. for that. Uh, and tacos are so commonplace in our home. Right. Where do you try these later on? And you can see nothing is cut, nothing is done. I've got a whole head of cauliflower I here. Love cauliflower. Okay. The goal is is to season it with our little house-made taco seasoning here. So I'm going to saute with onions and garlic. Yep. And I have ancho chili. I have smoked paprika. I have cayenne. I have cumin. I have a little pinch of salt. A little bit of lime. And that's going to make this phenomenal uh, taco seasoning. Mm -hmm. Then to top it, we're going to go with some black bean pico de gallo. Okay. So black Black beans, tomatoes, jalapenos, corn, cilantro, lime, really fresh, really vibrant. Um, and then we're going to make a little guacamole out of, you know, the beautifulness of... I have that, I have that almost every day. And, and I don't blame yeah. you. You yeah. know, there are certain things, there are certain superfoods you should eat every right. day. You know, and that's how you maintain your glow. That's well, what it is. You know, that if you want to look like Will Gilbert, <laughs> that's what you it need is. more avocado in your you life. You need more avocado in your life. So we'll put this together also. Uh, <laughs> we'll give this a try in just a little bit. Back to you. This Nick Ray Bars here. Avenue N is the location. Cauliflower tacos is yes. what we're making. If you are on that journey, if you're going to start off this day trying to eat a little better, trying to have something healthy, maybe turn a new page for yourself, this is it. Yeah, this is absolutely it. And this is a great way. It's a real um, simple, this is not like uh, crazy off the wall stuff. This is right. real simple stuff. I mean, this is food that you know. This is cauliflower in the pan. And so I'm sauteing it down with a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Very, very heart healthy ingredient olive oil. And the cauliflower right now, you know, cauliflower shrinks down. And just like anything, cauliflower can get overcooked. Sure. You know, it can get too dry. So you see, I'm cooking it over medium heat. That's helping sort of steam it and saute it all at one time. And then, Will, we're going to do uh, the Will Gilbert specialty, the guacamole. Oh, okay? okay. Yeah, so grab a. Grab a fork, Will, okay? Grab a fork and here. I'm going to have you just start smashing that up. Okay. So uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to be mixing up this uh, black bean pico de gallo. So again, super healthy way to get a ton of vegetables um, into you. So I have corn and black beans and jalapenos. I'm going to dice a little tomato. Yep. Fresh lime and cilantro uh, is, uh, you know, our essentials. Here's a little lime juice for that, Will. Okay. So guacamole, uh, you know, when I make guacamole, I do put a little red onion, very little bit, and I sure. do put a little bit of tomato and jalapeno. But in this case, we're really just going to do a very basic, simple guacamole, which is mostly going to be just this, uh, the avocado, a pinch of salt, lime, and cilantro, because right. we're going to have all those other ingredients elsewhere in this dish. Okay. So we don't need to repeat them. All right, so, so we'll, let, we'll get this going. We'll it's going. It, we'll give this a, uh, we're going to give this a try because, uh, like I said, no, you're going to love, love this one. Love, love, love cauliflower. If you're looking to be a little healthier in the beginning of the year here, this is the way to do it. Put it together. Talk to Nick. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Thursday morning. Ooh. It's 2020, Nick. Can you believe it? We are shocked. It's like it's, we're in the future. It's impossible. I know it is impossible, well, but, it, are, but it is 2020. You are the chef of today and the future. You're always innovating and doing something unique. Today, you're working on the cauliflower tacos. Yes, very of the now. You know, 2020, we've, we've, we've learned a lot about how to eat. You know, and the messages are everywhere, and we need to listen to them. Yeah. You know, um, plant-based diets are huge. It's not so much the looking. It's no. The, the it's, listening. It's the listening that's the key. Everyone has to kind of listen to this simple little recipe here. So check this out. Let's get in here close, Eric. Check out this pan right here, okay? Wait a minute, you're directing from the floor. Yes, yes, I'm directing from the floor. <laughs> get in tight, because that's cauliflower right there. It looks great. Now, the key with cauliflower is um, you can overcook it, and it can become little dried bits. Uh -huh. So you want to sort of, you see how much there's strength. When I put this in, this was a head of cauliflower. It was almost to the top, and it really does shrink down. Yeah. But you don't want it to be, you know, you don't want it to evaporate all at the same time. Right. So I'm warming up these little shells here, and I want to build these to get them out of there while they're still um, nice and soft. 
and uh, fresh. And so, this is a perfect example right here, crystal clear yes. for 2020, perfect, yes. of how uh, we've learned so much in the kitchen. Yes. Cauliflower, heretofore, uh, a food that people owe has, has disdain for, really. yes. oh, but now it's become trendy. Absolutely. We realize that you can rework it in many different ways and it's delicious. Absolutely. That's, that, I couldn't have said it any better myself and um, I'm going to go ahead and rework it right here by building these things. So, see the cauliflower, cauliflower is absolutely having a, a giant moment. Case in point, I mean, you're yes. making a taco out of it. Correct. And this is, uh, so I have little corn tortillas. This dish is uh, not only vegan, but it's also gluten-free. So for anyone that is, is you know, focused on eating a gluten-free diet, this is a great way to start. So you saw what I did with the cauliflowers. I sauteed it down with olive oil. I put in cumin and smoked paprika, ancho chili, and cayenne pepper. And now we're gonna put on some super fresh ingredients. And so, they said to me during the break from the control room, they said, he's making all of us very hungry. Good. And, it, and it smells great in here, because it's just great, it's awesome. Well, mission accomplished then. I'm gonna go on with some of this light and fresh. So this is black bean, corn, tomato, jalapeno, you know, okay. uh, lime cilantro and a pinch of salt okay and if you notice I really didn't go in with a heavy hand of salt either anywhere this is just sort of letting the ingredients stand on their own simple and fresh now I have this beautiful sort of it's like mashed avocado I shouldn't call it guacamole because I left out a few ingredients but it does have lime cilantro and it yep. does have a, a pinch of salt as well so a little fresh a little fresh avocado on top. Now you can stop right there. All right. Um, you can stop right there, or you can keep going. I'm going to keep going a little bit here, Brandon. I'm going to put on some of this pickled red cabbage. You'll see it a lot of very popular modern taco spots. You'll see a lot of pickled radish. My little claim to fame is this pickled red cabbage. It adds a nice crunch factor and nice little color pop. And really, what, now, what is going on here? I mean, I can't. Always, like, they're, they're, it's so alarming that there's things beeping. So, either that or it's time to take my meds. Well, it's one or the other. But either way, maybe it's time to try a taco. So I'm going to have you try one of these here, buddy, because. I, you know what? Well, I've learned first. Uh, yes. I've learned on the road show here in my uh, 28 years on the show. You have been here a while. That you, uh, you eat first with your eyes. Yes, that is 100% correct. very difficult for my retina to do some digestion. Yes. yes. But that's a figure of speech because look at how beautiful that is right there. Yeah, I that's mean, simple stuff. If too. it's appealing, it, if, if it's aesthetically gorgeous, which it is every time you are here, Thank you. it makes you want to eat it more. Now, I will get to this in a minute, but as I as I prepare myself for consumption, yes. let's talk about Avenue N. Yes, Avenue N. You, you, uh, Newman Avenue. Yep, in Rumford. That's I, correct. I'm in there all the time. I know, I love you. We were just there New Year's New Eve with me, buddy. Had a nice, low-key New Year's uh, there. When it was, you have this pastrami pizza that is out of this world. Yes. You're always changing up the menu. The total opposite of what we're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, you know, life is about balance, though. Sure life is, is about balance. Life is about moderation um, and uh, yeah we're always switching up the menu we're working on a new winter menu right now and of course we have a new location which I don't think we've ever even talked about on I the show. I was just yeah. about to say I am so excited for you and the whole team. Hope Street, Kirk. Hope Street, yep. Providence is where I started when I came to Rhode Island in 2001 and it's a big part of my life. I used to live on the east side for many many years in multiple locations and uh, now I get to go back and cook for a community that I love so it's pretty darn cool. Absolutely and apparently the, the fan is roaring so. Yes, let's stop that right now. What's going on? It sounds on? like we're being beat. <laughs> Up. People, they want these tacos so bad they're taking them from to a, to a land far, far away. What's wrong with the TV? Yeah. It's humming, Louise. Uh, but so let's run down the locations. Avenue N and then the yes, pantry. The pantry next and door. And soon to come. Hope when Street. You, when do you anticipate? Middle of February, I right. think. And you know, we're absolutely going to have great dishes like this. You know, very, uh, it's going to be much like Avenue N is with some of our cornerstone anchor dishes that everyone's grown to know and love. But we're also going to have fabulous things like these vegan tacos right here. Now, on should menu. I be wrapping it up and going in like Wrap a it up. Go, taco? go. Okay, get so at it. I want you to try it. I want uh, you to know that it, it has a little bit of a of like a chicken flavor to it with the cauliflower so if you're nervous about you know like hey i love my my protein or i love my uh that really got you there well so I'm nervous about everything in my life. Yeah, right. Well, I don't blame you. I am too. But this is not something you should really be worried about. Isn't it fresh and light and healthy? I mean, it's unbelievable. You know what I like to call it? It's a culinary amalgamation. Yes. Where you work yes. the flavors and you can taste all of them. You know what? It's a taste explosion. Yes, it is. Well, you know, lime and yeah. cilantro are so fresh and they really do pop. So when you saute this, you know, kind of hardcore like we were sautéing, I mean, this is like, uh, it can taste much like ground beef. Like it has that effect of like... Uh, you know, aggressive steak, you know, flavored food. But then you balance it out with all of these fabulous light ingredients, and that's what food's all about. You're a magician, my friend. Thank Good you, to see you. This is the man, Nick Raybar. You guys, Avenue N in the pantry. We'll have the recipe at roadshow.com. Check it out.